IntelliJ IDEA has pretty useful features to debug lambda expressions as well as stream operations. We have a sample program called debug stream and lambda and we have created one sample string array which contains certain elements. What we are doing? We are performing some operations on top of that particular string array at line number 12. So we have created a stream out of that particular string array first. Then we have performed one map operations where we are converting it to uppercase. Then we are filtering the elements, only the elements which has length 1. So as you can understand the elements with uh, length greater than 1 like XYZ or ABC or PQR, those would be removed. Finally, that is sorted and converted to one array. So this is what we have done. This is a sample program where we are uh, trying to demonstrate the different features uh, for debugging lambda expressions as well as stream operations. Now, to debug certain lambda operations, we need to place the breakpoint over here at line number 12. If you try to place a breakpoint, as you can see, uh, the IntelliJ IDEA editor automatically detects the line and provides us certain options to set breakpoints. Either we can set a plain and simple line breakpoint or what we can do, we can set uh, the breakpoints for different lambda operations like this one which belongs to the map. As you can see once we hover on this different options here the specific area is highlighted and also if I select this one you can see the filter is highlighted. We can select any specific uh, lambda operation or we can select all. So let me select this one and run the program in debug mode. Now as you can see as expected the breakpoint is hit and the control flow is within the map operation because that's where the editor has highlighted and the item value is X. So if I click resume it would move ahead. Now it has taken the next item that is Y. So from here we can continue. So we have the option to select all the operations while placing the breakpoint or a single particular operation. Also from here we can move to the next operation by selecting run to cursor or force run to cursor depending on our need. So as you can see now the element value has changed to Y because already it is changed to uppercase. So it's pretty easy to debug the lambda expressions using the IntelliJ IDEA as it provides multiple options. Apart from the different debugging options for lambda expression, whenever a breakpoint is placed at a line where there are certain stream operations and that particular breakpoint is active, this button as you can see over here called trace current stream chain becomes active. If you click over here, it shows you one UI called stream trace. Now what it does? it provides you the overall view. For example, if I click on the split mode, you have certain operations. You can see the step by step what is happening on the entire stream. So initially it was with these elements. After map, all of them are converted to caps. If you click on filter, you can see the ones which has length greater than one. Those are gone then it is sorted and finally it is converted to array. Now one important thing is if you want to trace you can select a particular item and see what has happened. Another view is like flat mode which is overall view like from the beginning till the end what is happening. You can uh, scroll a bit over here to get a clearer picture. Let me click this sections. Now you have the overall view say for example this first item if I select over here so the entire flow is visible to me I can understand what has happened say for this one which is removed now till map it was there and after filter it is gone so this is a very handy feature where the entire visualization is made available to you so that you can understand for a chain of stream operations what is happening